Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Ito video to yung upload ko ay isa sa mga performance tasks ko sa Earth and Science. Naka presentation at na submit ko na sa teacher ko. So lapatan ko lang po ng voice yung mga conversation ng sa pong famous scientists o mga astronomers. In my heliocentric theory, the Sun is the center of the universe, and the Earth, just like the other planets, revolved around the Sun. Nicholas, this work is largely based on a body of existing observations of the heavens. Tycho, Copernicus arrived at the heliocentric theory by a careful analysis of planetary models, and as far as is known, he was the only person of his age to do so, and if he chose to adopt it, he did so on the basis of an equally careful analysis. The arguments of creationists are not driven by evidence that can be observed in the natural world. The detailed knowledge required to sustain our civilization could only be derived through scientific investigation. Nicholas, your heliocentric system is true physical demonstration that the sun does not circle the earth but the earth circles the sun. Galileo, being an assistant to Tycho Brahe I used mathematics to calculate the path of the planets, finding that they travel not in circles, as long expected, but in ellipses. My theory, geoheliocentric system now known as the Tychonic system was accepted among Jesuit scholars and other astronomers in which the five known planets orbit the sun, while the sun, moon and stars circle a central earth. Tycho, I believe the classical astronomy and opposed your theory the Tychonic system, which did not agree with the views of Copernicus. My friend Galileo's book, The Assayer having conclusively proved the falsity of your Tycho's model of the universe. Scipione, being the most accomplished astronomer, the first competent mind in modern astronomy to feel ardently the passion for exact empirical facts. I've discovered the four primary moons of Jupiter, as well as the rings of Saturn. Though a model of the Earth circling the Sun was first proposed by Copernicus. Galileo, this is not against Copernicus' heliocentric system. In fact my studies Mysterium Cosmographicum can be seen as an important first step in modernizing the theory proposed by Nicolaus Copernicus in his On the Revolutions of the Heavenly Spheres. Galileo, I've observed the shadows of your four Galilean satellites on Jupiter, and determined the planet's rotation period by studying the bands and spots on its surface. I realized your dream why you defending the idea for several years, but why you wound up under house arrest, until the rest of your life? I've invented the pendulum clock, and the first person to theorize that light travels in waves and published a short treatise called De Saturni Luna Observatio Nova, formally announced the discovery of Titan. I believed that Saturn has just one solid ring. But his theory is undercut when Giovanni Domenico Cassini made his own observations of the planet. Christian, I've discovered the four moons of Saturn, the gap in the planet's rings, how long it took the planets Jupiter and Mars to rotate and accepted the solar theory of Nicolaus Copernicus within limits, and reject the theory of Johannes Kepler that planets travel in ellipses and propose that their paths were certain curved ovals. I'm the first person who observed the change in gravitational force over the surface of the Earth, the distance from the Sun to the Earth. The dimensions of the solar system and of its constituent bodies were thus disclosed for the first time with substantial accuracy. My theoretical proposals were supported by Newton and Huygens. But for unknown reasons, I was transferred from active service with the Academy of Sciences to fortifications and military construction. After the publication of my studies observations astronomics et physics fait senile dkn. Jean, Cassini resisted new theories and ideas, his discoveries and observations unquestionably place him among the most important astronomers of the 17th and 18th centuries. I've began worked on the variant of calculus in 1674, and in 1684 published my first paper employing the Nova Methodus pro Maximus et Minimis. I've discovered the generalized binomial theorem and develop a mathematical theory that later became calculus. My work extensively uses calculus and geometric form based on limiting values of the ratios of vanishingly small quantities, in the Principia itself, 
which demonstrate the method of first and last ratios and explained why are put in expositions in this form, remarking also that here by the same thing is performed as by the method of indivisibles. Isaac Newton, my study of resisted motion shows that, although I did not accept your Newtonian force concept as a fundamental mechanical principle. Christian Huygens, the Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica known as Principia M1687, is the single most important work of mine in the transformation of early modern natural philosophy into modern physical science. However, it was delayed by the strong opposition to my theory of gravity expressed by such leading figures as yourself and Leibniz. Thank you for watching.